get you. <gasps> Those are mouse. Uh -oh. Like who? Uh, Maybe. Are you scared yet? Those are mouse. Oh. 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 I like reptiles for a very long time. I had a turtle when I was like two, and I always caught tadpoles and stuff like that. I had a lizard. I got iguanas for Christmas, maybe third, fourth grade. Had them for four or five years, and then one day I convinced my mom to let me have a snake. That entitled having a cage with a lock and a key, because <laughs> she was so scared that snake would get out, and ever since I got that one snake, I just kept buying more and did not stop. I just said it was the same snake because it's not like she really paid that much attention until she realized that yellow snake is not that black snake I just had the other day. And she's like, okay, something fishy's going on here. But yeah, I don't know. One day, I just decided I really wanted a snake. I had a passion for reptiles. I bought a snake. I fell in love. And the lizard started to diminish and more and more snakes started to be purchased. something you just can't really explain but it is something you find in them that you like but something with their personality and their attitude is a lot more appealing to me hmm. what are snakes a snake is a reptile that is limbless She's a snake is a reptile. It's limbless, earless, has no eyelids, which some lizards don't have eyelids either, like geckos. That's why they lick their eyes to clean themselves, which snakes don't need to do because they shed their eye caps off. Instead of having eyelids, they have a scale that covers their eye, just like somebody wearing glasses, except the difference is it's part of their skin. And when they shed, that comes off too. people think oh well the difference between snakes and other reptiles like lizards is they don't have legs well there's lizards out there that don't have legs either the difference between a snake is designs in the head the fact that the jaw can dislocate and they can take in meals almost three times bigger than their entire body heat pits located on their nose which allows them to see heat which most pythons and vipers have and some boas. There isn't many, if any, lizards or crocodiles that have them. But then some things like crocodilians do have sensor pits located on their nose, which allows them to feel vibrations. Cat and a dog, you have to do daily care. Every single day, you have to make sure that dog and cat has food, has water, like everything is clean. Reptile, you can give it water, leave for three days, four days, come back, it's fine. Give it fresh water again, feed it again. Some reptiles can go even longer. It's just care and an affection. Most dogs and cats, they want companionship. They want affection or they need it. Reptiles do not. They do not need your affection, but they're not opposed to it. They're not gonna be upset but you want to cuddle it all day they'll tolerate it and that's the thing with reptiles they tolerate things that's what makes them great pets because if you spend time with them they'll tolerate a lot as long as you feed it and keep it warm cat or a dog heck no like all cats are bipolar There's a lot of people uncomfortable around them. My mother has to come over. Exactly. I was going to say, Sarah's mom doesn't even want to come over because of snakes. But then again, that's somebody who has never took the opportunity to learn snakes or know anything about it. Like, what, what is the reason for not coming over right now? You have one, two, three snakes that are out. About five plus snakes total in this room right now. I don't see anything wrong. Anybody see anything wrong? 
if this was somebody with a bunch of dogs right now, they'd probably be running around still jumping on top of people. It's just not knowing. It's not understanding. That's why people are uncomfortable with snakes. It's because they don't know. Nor have they took the time to get to know what a snake truly is like. And how do they act. Which not all snakes are the same. Every snake is born with a different personality just like people. And every species will act different. Don't try to go to India and handle a cobra just like you would handle a python. That's a sure way of winding up in the hospital or dead. It's not the same, they will not react the same. I never touched them as much until I met him. <laughs> but I got more comfortable with them. Yeah, obviously. Before I wasn't able, like I was still afraid to like touch them first or grab them out of the cage first. Now I know how they are, so it's easier. No, it does not want to eat you. None of these snakes are looking at you going, oh, when I get bigger, I'm going to eat you. No, that's not how it works. Snakes go by smell more than they go by anything else. They don't look at prey and go, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to eat that. It's more they taste it with their tongue. That's why they keep flicking their tongue in and out. They're picking up particles, just like you smell with your nose. But they're getting a lot more detail from it. And they're knowing what's around in this world. They're knowing there's food here. Or it's not food here, there's a threat. All just by flicking that tongue and tasting the molecules in the air. And that's how they really pick up what's food and what's not. It's not more looking at it and saying, oh yeah, I can fit that, so I'm going to eat it. It's more smelling and going, okay, I recognize that. That's food. I mean, most of these snakes take a few months just to imprint on food from the beginning. You can have some retakes come right out the egg and eat directly right out the egg. And you'll have others that'll take six to eight months just to take its first meal. It's, it's all in what they get associated with. Yeah, this girl right here is not going to wake up one day and look at me and say, ah, I think I can eat him. I, I, I think I'm big enough. No. She knows what I smell like. You know, I smell like a human. <laughs> a human doesn't smell like food. Any food here? Nah. But if I put a rat in front of that same snake, oh, that's a whole different reaction. <laughs> it won't take her long to realize there's some food in front of her then. Right. What can people learn from snakes? Patience. <laughs> That's number one. People can learn patience. That's all they do. They wait. They sit and wait for food. They sit and wait for eggs to hatch. Reptiles are very, very patient animals. And that's how their bodies are designed. Cold-blooded slow moving until the time comes where they have to move fast which they can be quick do you think she wants me rubbing her face but she tolerates it which is good because if i was a three-year-old kid and i just saw the snake and i just go ah grab his head you don't want the snake to bite you which she doesn't feel like there's a threat she doesn't feel like she will be hurt by anything around her so she's not worried about it she's not in a defensive mood which she's fine with me grabbing her tail or touching her face. And she doesn't want to bite. She just wants to get away from it. They're tolerant. And that's one thing we can learn from a snake is just tolerance. If nothing's bothering you or hurting you, there's nothing wrong. Oh God, she's going down. Hmm? Her, she's making a run for it. Oh, yeah, I'm touching her head too much. She got tired of me. Can we just say take a commercial break? <laughs>